people with stories to tell, those who deserve to be heard, studied inside out, but still with unrevealed secrets. Leaders, politicians, thinkers, and witnesses. They're here to speak. Are you there to hear? Thanks for joining us. America's anti-Soviet efforts in Afghanistan sparked the formation of Al-Qaeda. Now, something acknowledged by senior officials in Washington as far back at least as 2012. We had helped to create the problem we're now fighting. How? Because when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, we had this brilliant idea that we were going to come to Pakistan and create a force of Mujahideen, equip them with Stinger missiles and everything else to go after the Soviets inside Afghanistan. And then we said, great, goodbye, leaving these trained people who were fanatical in Afghanistan and Pakistan, leaving them well armed, creating a mess, frankly. The people we're fighting today we were supporting in the fight against the Soviets. However, the scale of U.S. involvement could be much greater than admitted. Allegations have emerged that the CIA has been operating a network moving vetted Mujahideen fighters across the world from Afghanistan. The former head of the U.S. visa section in Saudi Arabia wrote a book exposing how illegal visas were handed to Muslim operatives who later morphed into al-Qaeda. We spoke to him. The uh, people uh, coming in um, simply uh, could not tell me why they were going to the United States or where they were going to the United States, and I refused them. And I would then get a rocket from the Consul General, Jay Frears, demanding that I issue these people visas uh, or else I would be fired. And it would have been smarter on their part for them to tell me what was going on, because at that time I would have been dumb enough to say, sure. This is to fight the evil empire in the Soviet Union. And a number of the people involved in the September 11th uh, attacks uh, had been recruited as part of the Mujahideen for Afghanistan. They returned to the Mujahideen uh, instead of a one-off uh, way to overthrow uh, uh, the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan into a, you know, a first-class terrorist organization. Another revelation waiting for you right now on our website. As the truth is now out there for both skeptics and believers, the CIA has released thousands of previously classified images from the 40s and 50s allegedly showing UFOs. It does coincide with the release of the brand new X-Files season. If you're interested, have a look. It's all there right now at RT.com. Also, fire up the flux capacitor because the time-traveling car from Back to the Future is back in production after 35 years. Ever wanted to own a DeLorean and perhaps go where you don't need roads? RT.com.